I think when clients can speak to a lawyer in their own language, uh, meaning the language of technology, and count on the lawyer to understand it and be able to translate it into lay speak and into legal speak, that is a real value. It is a real skill. My name is Mitzi Hill and I'm a partner here at Taylor English. I chiefly focus on data privacy and security. I'm a technology lawyer of about 28 years at this point. For me, the ideal client is probably the founder or the uh, CFO or the COO at a small to medium sized company. Someone who wants to understand how B2Bs are getting regulated, how smaller companies are getting regulated, and wants to get a solution in place that's right for their size of company. I'm truly interested in technology and what it does for us as consumers and in a society. So nobody here was doing, was focusing on data privacy and security, and it was something that was becoming increasingly important. And so the firm offered me the opportunity to come in and start doing this work on behalf of the firm and you know, delivering that service to our clients. And I just thought that was an incredibly rich opportunity and it has made me a better lawyer. I grew up in Alabama, um, deep south, and then went to the Midwest for law school. I started my career at a large law firm in Atlanta. I then went in-house with a large media company based here in Atlanta. And as part of that experience, I spent a year living overseas and overseeing all of the legal function for the territory I was based in. Um, that ignited a love of travel in me. So that has kind of become my chief hobby as an adult. So I have always, done things in the community and one of the things I've done for the longest time is I'm actually part of the Decatur Arts Festival steering committee and that's been a lot of fun but my bigger commitment right now is that I'm part of the board of the ALS Association Georgia chapter. My dad had ALS and for people who don't know it is always a terminal disease and there are no meaningful treatments and no cure at the moment and we are in charge of making sure that the organization has the right resources, staffing, you know, money, development, whatever it is, um, to help service the patients 600 or so at any given time who are here in Georgia.